Hey guys, it's Nicole, and today I want to do an updated what's on my desk video. I did change my desk storage a little bit, so I figured since it's 2014, I can update that for you. And um, I'm in the process of actually putting decor in my scrap room. I haven't like really done anything on the walls or anything, and so um, I'll be sharing with you guys on my blog um, what the befores and afters look like and a lot of the stuff I'm hand making myself so stay tuned for that and yeah I'm gonna just go over this little area which is my main workstation when I'm making layouts um, I don't have my card making stuff here as much but this will just show you kind of an idea of how I organize all my stuff and keep it at arm's reach so I'm gonna start right here um, this is my workspace, and right now I have my Whimsa Doodle design team package here because I didn't want to mess up my space starting a project until I made this video. And just so you know, I'm holding my camera, so excuse me if it's a little wobbly, but um, this is where my chair goes. And let's start with underneath my desk. Um, I have a garbage can that I always pull out next to me like this when I'm working, and then I empty it after every use. Um, and then I have this little basket by my feet that has um, all of my different work um, space covers. Like this is if I'm doing mixed media. This is sometimes used when I'm filming a video. Um, that pink one I use for when I'm um, putting brads in my projects to punch through. That glass one is for X-Acto knife cutting. And then here is my larger scoreboard. Although now I have a smaller one, so I don't typically use that one as much. And then here's just the $2... Um, mouse pad from Staples that I use when I'm trying to get a good impression when I'm stamping. So that just sits right up here. I can get it back. Um, right there by my feet. And that's basically what's underneath my desk. Um, and just so you know, um, I don't think they sell these legs anymore. I got them years ago at Ikea and I like them because you can make them any level. So if you're um, a standing scrapbooker, you can make it really tall. And if you're a sitting scrapbooker like me, then you can make it a little bit shorter. Then on top of my desk, here are my most used inks, which are basically my Hero Arts and um, Paper Tray Ink. Oh, excuse me, um, not Paper Tray Ink, uh, my favorite things. And I um, got the idea from Jennifer McGuire to punch hearts with my, I think she did butterflies, but I just used my heart punch and I dipped it in the ink so that I would have a better idea of what the colors look like when I'm trying to do layering uh, stamping or when you're stamping, stamping in different shades. And then I just use my typewriter to put the names on it. And then right here are just some of my, I use those memento inks a lot when I'm doing Copic coloring and then uh, Versamark and Versafine and then my stays on are always up there because I reach for those a lot. And these um, ink holders are from, I believe, Hobby Lobby, and they're $9.99 each, so you can use a 40 off coupon, and I just like them because they make my, my uh, inks reachable to me, and they don't take up a lot of space. They're very narrow. And then up here, um, in those two drawers that say ink, those are my least use inks um, that I just keep up there in case I do need a unique color. And for um, stamping, when I want to reference not just the little hearts on these inks, but all the ink colors I have, right here um, on these little hooks, I have my entire reference sheet. So these are all the inks I own, um, and then I write what brand they are, what color and whether they're dye, chalk, or pigment. And I just have these in here so that I can reference all the colors I have. And then when I'm buying inks, I'm not buying the same colors over and over again. I have ones that uh, fill in the spaces. Um, and then I also mark if I, my ink's drying up and I need a refill, then I know because I mark it. So this just hangs right over here. And I also use these hooks when I have a kit. I hang some of my stuff there so that I can see it. So then always on my desk is my cutter and my uh, ATG gun. And then on this spinner that I got from Harbor Freight, um, there are just a few things. All of my dimensional adhesive I keep right up here. Two of my favorite punches that are too heavy to put on the shelf on my wall just sit here. I use these often. And then I've been doing a lot of Project Life projects, as you can see from my channel. So 
um, my Becky Higgins corner punch is right here, although it doesn't work that great. Uh, I'm sure this is their first model and they're going to revise it a little bit, but it doesn't work that great on photo material. It works okay on card material. Then over on this one, um, I just have one of my glue runners and there's nothing else on this shelf. Down here is my Stampamajig, all of my um, date stamps, and then my Dymo label maker. And then down on the bottom are all my blocks, and then all my um, dewdrop inks. And then I always, I have weight embossing powder on every surface in my um, scrap room because I use it a lot. So that's the bottom there. And then right over here is my um, daubers. I just keep them right next to my ink so that when I'm ready to use them, they're there. And I have an alt light on my desk that's good for when I'm filming at night. And lately, um, lots of my filming has to be done at night because I don't work from home one day a week anymore. And so by the time I put Reagan down to sleep and I go scrapbook, it's really late. Plus, with the time change, it's just getting, by the time I get home from work, it's really dark. So lighting's always an issue, which is why I waited to make this video until it was daytime. Then here is my tool caddy, and if you want a video going in greater detail of how I sort this, because of course it's sorted very particularly, um, I'd be happy to go through it, but that's just on the end of my desk. And I try to leave this space on my desk uh, fairly clean, because um, uh, in case I need to bring a die cutter, die cutting machine to my table, this is what I utilize. Then up above my desk, there are these two um, storage devices. They were both purchased at Michael's, and I think the one on the right is Making Memories, and the one on the left is Recollections. So I'm going to go through the one on the right first. Um, up at the top, I have cards that uh, various YouTubers have made for me, and I just try to rotate them out if I have several from the same person. And I just let those hang above. And then the first shelf has um, some of my Mr. Huey's by color order. Then the third shelf here has, um, a, on the right is a camera, like little pencil case that Carla, who's Kappa Mia, sent me. And then Erin made me this awesome camera out of neon paper and her channel, well she goes by the name of Rogue Noodle, but I think, I don't know if she changed her channel name. I'll link them both below. Um, and then over here are my most used um, punches that I just like to keep on hand. This one is a star punch, the one you can't see. And then here are the rest of my uh, Mr. Hueys and other mists that I own. And then these ink pads I also like to keep close. They are no longer sold, but I really, I've got one at, um, I think Tuesday morning, and I fell in love with it and its texture, so I hunted down a few more. And I'll be honest, I guess since they don't make them anymore, a few of the ones that I purchased do not stamp good. Like you have to really, they're not as juicy as they should be. And then over here, these little containers are from Michael's. Um, the first one has all my sequins and I just sift through it. And then all of these down here have um, my wood veneers. I really like to keep a lot of my embellishments within arm's reach because I find that I use them more. And then over here is my camera perch. Um, I'm going to try to start doing, I, I finally got my new uh, computer today, so I'm downloading some new software, and I'm going to try out while I make this um, layout, I'm going to try to do a process video and see if I could get it to work the way I want. So then let's move over to this one, and again, those are um, from various YouTubers that were really sweet and either sent me racks or just a card, um, and I keep those right up there. Then over here are all my twines and flosses. I just keep them in this jar so that I can pull it down when I need it. And then here are all my distressing pads. I've been really back into these lately. And I got the idea again from uh, Jennifer McGuire to Velcro the different pads that I use for them uh, right on the bottom. And then right here are my pictures I want to scrapbook. I just keep those up there. And the reason there's a space here is because sometimes I put my dauber thing up there if I know I'm not going to use it. The, these are just, um, Candy sent me this and, uh, Sherry sent me this, so I have them hanging there just as little memorabilia from them. There's nothing in this container and I told you those have inks. Then to the right of my desk I have this Ikea cart that rolls out and I keep, um, my heat gun here 
my plates for my cuddle bug and then my smaller um, scoreboard. And then in here are all my stamps that I use for layouts. Then below are all of my glitter tapes and twine. And then down here are like my cleaning supplies. My There's wax paper, paper towels, and wipes. And sometimes I just roll that to the side of me when I'm getting ready to use it. And then over here is my uh, nine drawer Alex unit from Ikea that I use to organize all of my embellishments for layouts and I'm not going to go through that today that'll be a separate video and then this is the new way that I learned from Pinterest to store my washies and I like it so much better than just being in a container because um, I'm seeing all the colors just from sitting here at my desk so it's really inspiring me to use them and this is uh, eight dollars from Walmart it's to really hold thread but I just sorted all of my um, washies on there. Here are a few that didn't fit on there, but generally that's what fits, and I don't plan on buying any more washi. This is between what Sherry has sent me from Japan and what I've purchased or gotten in um, scrapbook kits. I have plenty, and I don't need any more, so I'm looking forward to being able to use those. So this is my general workspace. I'm just going to give you an overview. And so basically I really, my goal is to keep everything at arm's length so that it's easy to use. If you have any additional questions, let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, bye!